Now it is. Yeah. So we're back at it again with another podcast on series, TV shows, animes, and movies. Um, two major topics will be discussed today. Maybe we might even throw another input in of whatever that's probably going to be discussed out there. Um, obviously, the main main ones that we're going to be speaking about today are Jujitsu Kaisen and the legendary Attack on Titans that has recently been finished. Um, I've, I've been seeing some mixed responses and a mixed amount of emotions on the Attack on Titan finale, uh, this series. Um, the the ending for me, I don't know about you, but the ending for it's me, crazy. it was crazy. I think at first glance, I Bro. didn't I didn't quite get it, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to lie, we didn't even introduce ourselves. Have we not? Oh no, we haven't. We, oh we my gosh, sure, just jump straight into it, yeah. <laughs> I I'm I'm Michael. This is Patricia. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. Hope you're doing well wherever you are. Good day. Good evening. Good morning. Whatever applies to you. Let's hope you're having a splendid time at home. Definitely, I, definitely, definitely. Let's. Uh, I say let's grab some popcorn, grab a drink, kick back, relax, take in the info you, that you. Oh, what's the word to say? That you intake. That you digest, intake. Digest. Digest. Yeah. Bear, bearing in mind, guys. Everything is an opinion. It's not fact. Yeah, so that's true. And there's spoilers. So if any of you have not watched what we're talking it, about, yeah. It, and if you haven't watched it, you're crazy. You're crazy. If you haven't, I probably suggest click off, catch Literally. up, come back, then go again. Like obviously, again, it's all opinions. So yeah. um, don't take offense if we might say something you might not agree to it. Again, it's an opinion. Obviously, and to be honest, there's actually when it comes to anime there's always always yeah different like different opinions different opinions like i've always. got i've got a hot take on a certain character mm. but you guys might feel like oh no i'm wrong mm. and obviously if you can prove me wrong in the comments respect it if not it is it's what different. it is man it's different but yeah which one should we tackle first i say attack on titan oh we should do attack on titan first yeah okay guys if you have not watched Attack on Titan finale, clock out or I don't know. How can you? I don't know. Anyone that's a fan of Attack on Titan, if you didn't watch finale part two, you're not a fan of Attack on Titan. Oh. And that's all I can say. That finale was a perfect ending. Completely uh, perfect. See, that's the thing where um, it's not everyone is is happy about the, the finale. Well, as in the, the end, end of how it ended. How it ended, yeah. yeah. And but to me, it was like it was a perfect masterpiece in the sense that we got, we understood what was going on. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. It gave us like we was mind blown by the information, figuring out okay, this, this, that. Yeah. But I understand what you mean by the ending, like no one was expecting how Aaron gets killed, beheaded, I mean, beheaded, I think by his own love, his own love. I think I think it was it was a matter of time for him to admit that he actually did love Mikasa. I think that's and it a, took a Armin nice touch. punching him for yeah. him to understand that. Like every 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 friend needs a probably a good kick in the backside, a good Literally. punch just to get like that reality check there that, that, that they need. But um, I think Armin as well. Armin grew on me as a season as a series. In fact, yeah, kicked on because I remember I told you, oh, Armin died and I was crying. You said, oh, I remember. Yeah, I remember that day very well. You very, very piss. well. You took the piss. Very, very well. I said, listen, between Armin and Commander Irwin, who I was going to bring back, if that's me in that situation, I'm saying Irwin all day long. No, but I actually feel like Irwin shouldn't, he needed to rest, bruv. He done a lot. He done a lot. He yeah. was, cho- he, like, I'm not going to lie, we weren't even in that world, but I was willing to lay my house. <laughs> lay, literally lay it down. I was like this always. Literally, yeah. Lay it down for Commander, because that's, yeah. that's a, that's a, that's what you call a leader. Yeah, he Someone that knows everyone. how to, like it's on us to motivate his, even his, to the end. I remember group. the first time I had respect for Commander Owen was that time we went to go get um get Erin season two and the Titan bit his hand, bit his arm, yeah. And, we're and he was still saying yeah, charge, charge. Like, we're thinking, he was eaten and he's still shouting out charge. charge. Like I'm thinking, oh no, like not one of the good ones. Like Owen's gone. gone. Like he's bearing mind, he's in the Titan's arm. Yeah, literally. And usually when you're in the Titan, when you're Titan's arm, you're in the Titan's mouth. Sorry, um. And when you're in a, a Titan's mouth, it's, it's very it's a very slim chance, and they they carried him off. But for he him to scream, to, to, for him to tell his crew, not his crew, but his his squad with to charge sword. with the sword to keep on charging, bring Aaron back. Literally. That's what we call a leader and Literally. a fucking commander. And I fucking Literally. respect it honestly. Like he was, 
hands down, like when you think of of the fact that Hanji was the next commander after him, yeah, it makes sense because there's no one that can really live up to his name. After Hanji, obviously, it was Armin, but you know, it makes me wonder why they put Levi. But in a sense, it it made sense why Levi wasn't put as commander. He was captain, and captain, he will yeah. always be captain. Captain, yeah, but commander, yeah. I don't. I've yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't. I don't think I would. I would see him as a commander. I don't think that's like what he want to take on. Nah. In, in general. Nah. But if, even then, Armin, he did grow me. Yeah. Um, I actually, when that scene happened, where Armin and Erwin were both dead, just there, I actually wanted this guy gone, erased from the show, because all this guy, oh, this guy, all it was was a scream. Aaron, 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 Aaron. And it's like, nah, <laughs> nah. There's only there's only so much you can take, like. Like, let me oh give you like, another another character from another show. Even though this character is like irrelevant to the topic here, Princess Elizabeth from Seven Deadly Sins could yeah. stand her. So many others. Every every ten seconds, so, so many others. So many others. So many others. Like no, like come on, like she breathes so many. She breathes so many others. Like so many others. Not even here in the fucking scene. <laughs> We're getting flipping Barnes fighting for his life. We're so many others. Uh, uh, Deanne Deanne is trying to. Trying to hold the crew down, like King's trying to do what he's doing, and all just going for so many others. Like, like, come on, there are other people here. You know, it's like it's like the same thing with uh, so you might some people might disagree with me, but what? it's the same th- with, with, with uh, um, Princess Elizabeth. Yeah. It will be the same thing as well with Sakura and Sasuke. Nah, right at the beginning. Wait, hold. Okay, right at the that beginning. That makes sense. That makes sense. But didn't she like grow up to like get a backbone? Oh yeah. But she still receives hate for of oh, still receives hate for being useless. But you could you could say oh it's 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 a similar thing because all all it was was Sakura was like oh Sasuke Sasuke now to be getting his ass whipped <laughs> by by flipping Zabuza for example or or Gara and she's there screaming like she oh, just cares about Sasuke like oh, I don't even want to spoil a scene for you yeah go on but um oh Actually, what was it for me. don't spoil it for me yeah I can't, I can't even say but there's a certain scene. When uh, I can't, I can't even say anything because it's a spoiler for you. Okay, never mind. Move on. Move, move on. on. Yeah. yeah. Don't spoil it for me. But yeah, the Attack on Titan ending for me. No, no, forget the end for now. But Armin yeah, right. for me in general, he grew on me. I think he had a good character development from being like a a little puss bag. Mm. You know, he really once he got that that role or that assi- I I call it an assignment, not the role because it's not officially his yet. But I say once he got the assignment of being the leader. And no, to but like he. Do you know? I think why they gave it to him because he was good at thinking of plans on the spot. On the spot, yeah. He was very like if you look at all the plans, even from the time when it, um to find Rhino and Boltold when they were in the walls and that. Yeah, he was. Armin. It was Armin. Yeah, he's he's a smart lad. He's but a smart he's just lad. It's just dumb. the way he goes about things yeah. is that really frustrating. Really, but I'm really not gonna. He had a glow up. That haircut was perfect. Um, that haircut was better because I hate. He looked like Annie. He looked like Annie. Yeah, everyone wants to look like his crush, isn't it? Nah, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> nah, but, but overall, at, but in the um, if we look at finale part one and finale part two, who do you think has the worst death? The worst death. Like, who did you feel sorry for the most? No, not even for the finale. In the whole of the whole thing, the whole thing. Top three deaths that actually top hurt three you. deaths that that hurt me. Yeah. Number one was Sasha. Number one was Sasha. Um, Sasha was like, and when I first saw uh, when I first saw Sasha in um, season one, oh. season one, she was always seen like this food in it, <laughs> and it's like she was like a like a klutzy ditzy girl, yeah. like just had no brain. But with her, it's like despite she the world she's living in, was she like a sharpshooter? Yeah, yeah, she was from her background, and mm. and uh, saw the um that family get killed. Yeah, and she still helped that little girl, trying to like give her like hope and 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 like good fortune, good fortune, but mainly hope so that was that girl. But yeah, Sasha for me, and when she got shot by that fucking quick scope part, Gabby, she should be flipping representing. I'm not phase. gonna lie, Gabby. Yeah, when she killed Sasha, I've never wanted to have a child. Die that's that's like, that yeah. That was I wanted that child. Severe gone. child abuse was gonna come towards that girl. <laughs> Literally severe. Then, I remember in the finale when she was um, with um, Captain Levi. Oh, Falco. That's Falco, me to yeah. Falco. Fal- Falco's another one. That's it was a bit of a it was a bit of a pushover, but I feel like once you got the, I keep forgetting the name of that flipping. Sorry guys, it's freezing cold out there. 
What's what's the name of that that Titan that he has? I keep forgetting the name of it. Jaws. It's Jaws. It's Jaws. Because he ate Galliard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he ate Galliard. Yeah. But do you know, I was so confused because I was like, but I swear, is there two Jaws in it? Because you remember Eren, yeah, used Jaws to... Oh, I'm so confused. No, 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 because he was saved that time when he was in... Um, what do you call it? Rhino's home. He used Jaws, Jaws to, yeah, to eat to, the Warhammer. Titan. Yeah, but I think Jaws was still about, isn't it? He was, he was saved. That's why um, Galliard was still about, and that's why Falco ate him that time. I think so because Falco was about to eat Rhino. Yeah, and that's why. And in fact, oh, I'm trying to go back to, to the episode. Yeah. It was like okay, Rhino and Eren was fighting. Yeah, and Galliard and them were in. I remember they were in scouts' uniform, and that was when the whole madness was going on. Is that when um, Arm Armin and that attacked the island? I think it was after that. After that, because um, I'm pretty sure Colt. Oh, he's br- no Colt. Ain't that Falco's brother in it? He died. He died. Yeah, because he was telling um the Beast Titan, "Don't what do you call it." Don't scream because you're gonna like Falco's got the fluid in him, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he still screams. Steam screams. I yeah. think it was no, no. It was back in the in the island because that transformed all the people that that um, in that in that yeah. um little pit there. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was back on the island. It transformed everyone. But then he ate Galliard. Then he became the Jaw Titan. But I'm not gonna lie, his Titan looks legit Le- sick. Yeah. And he can fly. He can fly. He evolved as well. I had a f- I, I just looked at it and thought it had like more to it than it has to offer it originally. Was, it was like um. I think because at the same time his beast is spinal, um, spinal fluid. Yeah. So I don't know if it's got something to do with that. That kind of mutated him. It was weird. It mm. was weird. I don't know how it, how it worked out. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. Uh, Sasha was one. Obviously, Hanji Sung was another one. The third one, I f- I keep forg- I shouldn't forget his name. Marco. No, 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 no. This one, this one is um, this is a per- is one of my personal favorites of mine. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I forgot his name. I'm sure it will click back to me sooner or later, but um, he was that guy. He was part of the Jaegerist. He was a hardcore Jaegerist. Flock. Was it Flock? He's my friend. Do you know what? Yeah, you Flock. You know your list? Yeah. Mine is Hanji, then Sasha, then Flock. Then Flock. Flock was a, a one of the Jaegerists, yeah? yeah. But 100%, that guy was had he, determination. The, most deter- the determination I saw on that day was... was That's when... Pure Flocko, ridicule. Flocko. Flocko. Flock. <laughs> yeah. Um. Not Flocko. Falco transformed. Yeah. First time willingly, but could they say that the tra- first transformation was? It's a bit like yeah. So then that day, even though it was like everyone's getting, I'll never forget. Everyone's getting ran, but he's like, nah, I'm bringing this boat down. Nah. This shit's going down. And the fact that he had like, how many times were on him? Michael, all those titans transformed. All, and he's like, nah. We've we've no, it's not even the Titans. No, it, it wasn't a, Titans. It was it was like it, Connie and Mikasa. Yeah, Mikasa went ultra instinct mode. She, oh! Exactly. There was a scene yeah where Mikasa she killed up yeah the Jaegerist yeah and they, I'll never forget she set off one of the bombs. They ex- two of them exploded because she stabbed them. Set off their bombs and she's just standing there. It rains blood. You just see blood dripping down. Dripping, her. Yeah, and then she looks over to the left to another Jaegerist. They ran off. There's like, I'm not dealing with not this. Not dealing with this. But then I forgot Shit. one guy was th- was like, nah, I'm, I'm going to make sure this plan was fulfilled. And he's just like, weaving in and out of Titans, he's dodging Mikasa. I'm going to think, okay, cool. Dodge he's, Falco. Dodge Falco. He's dodged, he's dodged everyone. Like, he's making sure. He got, I think he got the ship in it. No, just the silence. Just the silence. He, just, he got he, just... He, he nearly could have. He nearly could have, yeah. yeah. But I think something, something happened to him. He got. I think he got shot. Yeah. Someone shot him. But probably, I don't know probably Gabby, was. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah? Let's be real Do you know what? I think it was, you know? I think it was probably Gabby. Because when it comes to moments, yeah, Gabby always, Gabby, always yeah. comes out with shock. Lots of, she sniped Aaron in the head. And then that's when he, t- he transformed into that ridiculous Titan form as well. That's the most ridiculous Titan form yeah. I've ever seen in my life. And then flipping, hung onto the side of a ship whilst wounded. She was determined. You know, you know, how, you know how sickening you have to be to do that? She, she was determined. No, no. Was he was determined. Like the fact, oh, you, this guy. You've been, I think he, I think Gabby even did shoot him. You know, 
Yeah, yeah, because I remember when he was on the when he got off the boat, like, or when they brought him back on on shore. I'm dying. This guy had like blood coming off of him, so I'm sure he was he shot. Did. He was. Yeah, he was, he was definitely and shot. I think he was dying, but he was like, "No, nah, I'm determined." I'm determined. Yeah. And then he shot the was it the airplane? He shot the airplane. He got hold. He was shooting. Yeah. And he shot the he airplane. Shot, yeah. That's why they had. Oh, on the same flop. The Titans. That gap, bro. Rumbling. Rumbling, the rumbling was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. That thing. Uh, the kid. On at the end of it, I don't know what that symbolizes, but not even that kid. It's the kid that Aaron was saying, "I'm sorry for what happens," because he knew he was gonna get stepped on. The one with the fez. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And his brother, and his brother went back for the coins. the coins. I was like, "The coins is he's not Those gonna coins help ain't you. Gonna be helping you, you need to go. You're about to get stepped on." Yeah, he's got sometimes when, when something like that happens, even in this society, if something like that happens, you have to prioritize what you want. Yeah. Do you want the, the, the 10 rats that's laying there on the floor? Or do you want the life? I don't know what I'm going for. Life. I'm going for the 10 rats. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Are you okay? I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. No. Life. I'm going for my life. Forget the for, queens. Forget the queens. Like, I, I know what the, the struggle... I understand that you come from like a struggling environment. It's the fact that we... They, do you know what? Attack on Titan is not a under... <laughs> Kids can't watch that. Nah. From the first episode, you can't watch that. You can't it. watch that. But then again... Aaron, you killed your mom, fam. <laughs> Michael. Oh my god, I just remembered something, guys. Aaron, yeah. This is what oh. you killed not his mom. He then gave us those crocodile tears in season one, episode one. <laughs> no. He said, guys, let me share your sympathy with me, your empathy with me, please. And he was giving us crocodile we tears. We was like this. I was like, nah. When they were getting going after Aaron in the beginning, we was like, save him, save him. All that time we should have been like, nah, let him die. Finish him. Because this guy knows what's happening. Year after year, time after time, day after day, this guy was like four or five steps ahead of everybody else. And it clearly showed. Clearly showed. This guy was getting us crocodile tears. He was like, yeah, I had a choice that day. I saw Belto, Bel- Belto but I needed him for something. So I sent him towards my mum. And you just see the, the scene of... And the thing that smacks it, he sent his stepmom to go kill his mum. That's even worse. Your stepmom went to go kill your mum. Even mom. worse. And what thinking, oh, it was out of... She was actually subconscious. And subconsciously, she knew what she was, she was, knew she, what she was doing. She knew, oh, that's my ex-husband's new wife. But re- in reality, false. The son is the one that the sent son the mum to yeah. go... That's actually crazy. So now when, you, when he's in heaven, yeah, I want you to go to go no, find no, your mom. Don't forget what you said that him and him and Armin they'll meet each other in hell. Oh, you, oh. So you, you can't even do your oh when you see your mom in afterlife because one's down there and one's up there. Literally, it? So you can't even go unless they get re- reincarnated. I don't know. What's I don't happening know. Oh, but then uh, I think I think he was reincarnated into that bird. Oh yeah, he did because he put the scarf. The scarf around cover, yeah. Awesome. So you're telling me Mikasa's man, yeah, has has the knowledge of the fact that. Yeah, Mikasa is in love with a dead man, and I'll never be number one. You'll in never life. be number one, no. Nah. <laughs> because that scene, she had children, no? Huh? Yeah, she had children, and they're still going back to the grave. Yeah, and she, they, she got buried on top of him. That's basically a lose lose. I don't know what you. I mean, I mean, I respect the dedication. I respect the cause to to be committed to that relationship. The fact but that she was holding the the, the, the head like. A, a precious thing. Yeah, that was. That, I'm like, no. When she kissed, it, I felt like, eesh. chills went back, went down my spine. I think that you know, when you kiss like a, a a soul head, like that's a bit weird. I feel like if you maybe kissed him in a weakened state, that would be different. That would be different because he's alive. Yeah, but not when he's dead and has no other body and it's just his head. And speaking of which, where was his body though? Because still, his body. Did you see it get left behind? No, I didn't see it. She just took the head and then cut. Bec- no, as in, because all we saw in that mouth was his body, no, was his fate, like his head. Yeah. There was no body. And she took the head, left. No, there was no body. Like, he was attached. Well, when he was, was inside? Nothing. Yeah, there no, was, it was nothing No, there was a body. There was a body, yeah. He was standing there. He wasn't standing. He was standing Michael. there. I'm sure he was standing. Not not just standing there, but he was he was there. Not his body. And then she, I think, then and then she just lunged at him and then... Sh- 
clean. picked up the head, clean lipstick for some odd reason. That was, oh. that, was that was weird. It took took like a couple of days to get out of my head because that was actually irking me. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that's a that's that's a weird thing. Like, what do you, like if he actually lips him in like in a weakened state, or he allowed if he knew he was gonna die at that moment, allow it to happen. Like let me like let her lips you, and then be like, cool, off with your head. No. Like some cold even, G oh, shit, like. ellipse, that just sounds wrong. And the whole thing just sounds wrong in it, but you know, Attack on Titans is a weird show filled with flipping giant naked people fucking running around eating each other anyways. Literally. What would you say is your favourite moment out of Attack on Titan? I have two. What's your and one? It's with the same person. What was your one? Captain Levi. Two different occasions. One when he first when he when he, Kenny was trying Kenny, to attack. Okay, him. yeah. With the, sh- the the moves that he was doing, yeah. The second no, yeah. The second one was with the Beast Titan. Oh, okay. That's when he was slicing, slicing him on the way in it. I've never seen him. I mean, the Ackerman. No, it's not, it's just the Ackerman family are completely different. If you have Ackerman as your surname, there's something in your bloodline. Yeah, there's just something. There's something just there. My favorite moment. Oh. Oh, I would have to go the reveal of Rhino and Berthold as the Colossal and Armour Titan. Oh! That broke my heart. Is that one, do you know what is that build up here? Ah. It's because it was like, oh, like the Titans are attacking us. We are a team to, oh, I'm third person. It was like, they were going crazy in their mind yeah. because they were literally brainwashing themselves until they realized, yo, we're against these people. That's why Aaron was like, "Oh, I understand what you mean now." Yeah, it, may, it that until then, then I was like, "Okay, I understand." Nah, because uh, there's a lot of good scenes, but I feel like that scene in particular for me is the one that gave me like real chills, because now it's like, um, because at that time it's like it's literally us humans mm. against the world. Literally, it's us against the world, and, and we're then trying you to survive. Find out. And then you find out that we actually have traitors among us. That's actually titans that actually caused. The the first um invasion literally killing the death of thousands of people wow. and it turns out you've been living amongst us as as one another. Plus oh sorry, plus Annie as well was another and Yumi. one. Yumi Yumi is Yumi. lucky. Yeah, that's she was just lucky she that she lucky. Hit, um Mar- Marcel? Who yeah. was the yeah. Marcel. She was just lucky she ate that person. R. I. P. But I like the redemption at the end. Yeah, I like that. That they wanted to redeem themselves and they helped helped out because they've obviously seen what have gone wrong, seen that oh that what what they were doing isn't right, but that's the thing about what they were doing. That's what makes that I think the the ending in particular because I didn't actually first time watching it I didn't actually get it. Neither did I. I didn't get it, but then I had a mate of mine basically tell me like where it is, and I thought okay, cool, makes sense throughout the whole ending. So you see at the end, uh, Mikasa dies, family buries her, and then start doing... Um, the wars and all that the stuff. The wars, happen, re- yeah. rebuilding, and then yeah. like they're evolving, and then it's like a crash nuclear, again, nuclear, nuclear war. Yeah. yeah. So that's basically them in a cycle. The same, yeah, the same it's thing. A, it's that, and that, that little paradox. boy is basically Yume. What's the, the, the original girl? The original, again, the yeah. So the, he's yeah. going to basically start the whole thing again, but that's that's how it is, really. So is it a case where it's been happening all this time? Twenty percent of humanity. Twenty, yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. That's then. What's the point? Is this going to be a continuous cycle? Sometimes I, I actually wonder. This is the reason why, yeah, the four horsemen. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. There's too much going on in that series. You would think that they wouldn't have like no more time. Ta- you've learned, didn't it? But from the past, you learn. Okay, this not sh- this shouldn't be happening. But the fact that it's happening again and again, again and again, nuclear war wipe out start from the beginning. Do the same thing again. Over and over. This time it's like with a male and then a female. Then what? The next one will be a female. And then the next one will be a male. And then the same so thing. So on and so on thing. and so on. It's ridiculous. And it only just get worse. Worse and worse. Yeah, that's true. That's the thing. But then again, that's like how it is in, in our society today. Literally. It's all like the stuff that's going on. Like we're meant to be meant to be evolving. But instead we're not. We're, we're getting more stupider. More stupider, more dumber. And I can barely re- like most people can't remember their pin for what? their bank. Yeah, you know when we were selling at um, Comic Con. Yeah. Some people are like, oh yeah, I can't remember my pin. I have to use contactless, or they have to go on their phone app to find their pin 
so they could put the pin in. Think about it. Technology is supposed to make us smarter, has made us more stupid. What is not? Yeah. I mean, I like, remember back in the day, I had a Nokia 30, 35, 10 I as a phone. Everyone can remember, like, you remember numbers. Now, I can barely remember my own number. Don't even ask me if I remember my, any of my family members' numbers. It's not going to happen. If I went in jail, who am I calling? Who am I calling? So you don't know any of our numbers? Off by heart. I remember some, I think mum's got 109 or 444. Yeah. That's it. One of her phones do. I know I know her um, her main phone number, because it's, I don't know why, it's, when I was deep in her number, mm. her number is scary, like, very similar to mine. So that's easy for you. Yeah, so that's why it's so easy for me to remember the number. It's just like, take the, the key ones, well, not the key ones, but take the, the main yeah, the main ones, no, keep the main ones in and then replace them with some side ones. And okay. then, Basically, the side ones, I'd have to half that number in half. That gives me mum's number. That's the scary thing. Yeah, it's like, it's ridiculously so similar. Okay, like, if I, I, if I half it by two, every every similar number, I'll show you after. Then fact, I'll check it now. Yeah, check it now. I might be bugging. That's crazy. I might even be bugging. Honestly, I'm gonna Sorry, guys. We just yeah. literally went on a tandem. We just need to check this out because that's crazy. You said her main number. Her main number. So the... Okay. And then you're the main provider. Oh. The main. Wait, hold on. Whoa. So that's that's my number. Okay, hold on. Whoa. That's my number. You legit. And a legit half half the two numbers. That's it. Yeah, half them by two, or divided by two, same number. That was literally. I was just. Di- the, it's the same. The same thing. Just the two. Just the two, and then when you get to the that certain number. Half it, that's me or that's mum. Because I was literally, I was literally going through. She told me to send something to her phone in it, and then scary. I looked. At, I, was, I was going through it. I was looking at them, thinking like, I was first looking like, I have my number. I think, okay, cool. No wait, that's so scary. I was sitting there like, raw. That's we have similar, a very, very similar number. That is scary. And the mathematics as well is like, it's half, half. That's weird. Yeah. But then again, you are her baby boy, so yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. As we continue on, but what do you think they could have changed the ending? How the ending? Do you think the ending? Like, what would you have preferred in the ending? Honestly, I actually don't know. Because I was, I was, because when people, uh, when the manga finished, mm. people complained like, "Nah, I'm not, ha- I'm not happy with the ending. Not happy with the ending." I was thinking, okay, cool. This ending must really suck hard. So then, obviously, the anime drops, and 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 according to my sources. The anime um, dropped the the oh, sorry I lost my words. The manga and anime, sorry, uh, the ending was the same. I haven't read the manga, so if if, I, if I'm missing anything, obviously just let me know down I in the comments. I think it's most likely people wanted Erin and Mikasa just to have that happily ever after, but they don't Bro. realize that Erin don't deserve that happily ever after. This guy just slaughtered eighty percent of humanity, of and humanity. you wanted to give a happy ever after. What do you, what do you think this is? What do you think this is? Huh? Let me, let me ask you a question, yeah? If your best friend or your crush, yeah, just slaughtered 80% of humanity, do you think I'm going to let you have your happy ever after? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm sorry. I am sorry. You just slaughtered. My nose is finished. 80%, 80, 100%, yeah? And only 80% is gone and only 20%, 20% is, is left. left. On either side, it's twenty percent of humanity outside the walls, because apparently that twenty percent link is the same amount as the twenty percent inside the walls. So it's like everyone wanted there to be like a just wants us to be equal I, amount of people, I, yeah. because one hundred percent people are gonna come attack the people on the island. Of course, even though they don't believe that the tit- they don't believe that titans are not there no more, but obviously the titan power is now gone. Ah, that reminds me. You know, Yuma is actually a witch. She let off that gas, yeah, to transfer pe- the, 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 the the people outside the walls that on top of that cliff to transform into titans to use that as bodyguards to get to Eren when the when Armin blew up the colossal titan. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I thought to myself, hold on, Annie and Ryan, I feel sorry for them because they might have to kill like their parents. Mm. Luckily, that didn't happen. Yeah. And Mikasa, like... 
dead it off. I, sorry, uh, deleted. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're trying to use a word that people, because you know that people are, get triggered with some words. So it's like, yeah, deleted Aaron from existence with one Clean. swipe. <laughs> I like that. Not too much fussing and not too much nonsense. I'll, we let you have your little... Just a nice... But when it came, push comes to shove, just like that. Nice, clean, shing. You know that, you know in anime, they actually do that little white line as well to indicate, yeah, this yeah, guy, he's, this guy got cut. Ah! That brings us to JJK, but still, this guy, continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's actually crazy. It was bad. It was bad. It was proper bad. Should we move on to JJK? Or should we just do a last thoughts for a- AOT? Last thoughts, AOT. And then we move on to yeah, JJK. But, yeah, AOT, I don't know how, I don't know how, you can end that really. I think they did a good job. They did. They did a good job. Unfortunately, that's the that's the the part where it's like the cycle continues. Yeah, I think. that's. But it's. I'm glad that they showed like the ending. They showed us like how everyone goes back to visit Erin's grave. Mikasa dies when it shows that she's in the grave as well. Mm. But then the way it's showing society it evolving, changing, evolving, growing and growing, and then a nuclear war, and then the tree. I kind of like the way it done that. You see the timeline of it going. You can see it's been obviously years, probably a hundred years. Who knows? Because mm. the world does develop quickly. Like a hundred years ago, look at this. Yeah. So maybe it was a hundred years, and then maybe another hundred years, and then another hundred years. So who knows what's gonna happen? Yeah. I don't know if they will do spin offs. I would like to see spin offs, like to see the lives of like the people left over. See, that's sad. Oh yeah. <laughs> the people left over, but it'll be nice to see everyone. How their storyline went. Yeah. How they grew up, their families. Maybe that kid is one of their descendants. You may never know. Yeah, that's true. You know, never know. Never know. Which will, as long as he's not Mikasa's descendant, because we don't need an Aikman and a Titan mixed together. No. It doesn't need to be. We don't need that. Because that means, yeah, everyone's finished. (laughs) (laughs) That family, that bloodline is crazy. But yeah, well done. To the map, map, yeah. Um, I would say that I kind of it's bad of me to not know the the creator of Attack on Titan, but I think he created. Yeah, he done a very good you've, story. You've topped a lot of animes. Um, you, I think you push top five probably of all time. That's a that's a. It was it was horror, a bit of comedy. Yeah, you're you don't know what to everyone basically it doesn't matter who the characters were you don't know who was going to die you don't know, yeah people were just everyone dropping. was having it it don't matter who you were obviously there was characters people don't want to die but it don't matter everyone had a target on their back even the main character had a target and he's yeah. gone yeah Out that's the thing literally. yeah main character's gone as well so yeah, even he wasn't safe. He done really well with that because a lot of times people will be like, "Oh no, that's probably the reason why people are complaining about the ending because they wanted Aaron to be alive." But it's like, no, no, he made it. This look way. how we, yeah, look at the direction we've, we've taken it. I don't know how you could spin it and be like, "No, Aaron, you're you're okay now. You're a good person." Nah, nah. Like he said, him and Armin will meet oh. each other in hell. Yeah, maybe not Armin, but yeah. I, I don't really see him doing anything convictingly evil. I think because he's taken on the sins of. Erin, they want to take it on together. Well, to each his own. Uh, I know that's me. One of us is going down. That ain't going to be me. Yeah. <laughs> my friend, I'm going up. <laughs> if my friend took eighty percent of flipping humanity's life, and I'm trying to stop him. Yeah, I, I know one of us is going. This sounds like it's fucked. No, I'm joking, but but yeah, still flipping Attack on Titan is a is a it's a true masterpiece. That's, that's a that's a show. That's a that's a very good show. I keep saying that because literally it's too cold. Fam. I'm I'm warm. Uh, I'm outside it was windy. Oh yeah, outside was windy. Oh mate, it's actually bad. At work, when I say uh, I look through the door, I uh, legit thought it was gonna be a storm. No, I think right now this November is colder than last year's November. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Because this weather yeah. is killing me right now. I need to drink. I, I, and you know me, I don't drink hot drinks. I don't drink tea, but I've been drinking those herbal teas that there's no tomorrow because my body is saying it is cold. My nose is saying, and I'm going to continue to run. Been, yeah. oh, honestly guys that know has been running for about years and years so I don't know if she says oh man, I've got a runny nose so I'll be hearing runny nose in the summer okay. winter Let me autumn myself spring here. spring if, and summer if Priscilla was here the confirmation fever. confirmation will be done in 
autumn and winter is the cold. I can't, like, I have a sinus problem. So I can't handle the cold weather at all. But I cannot. If it gets chilly already, sniffle, sniffle, I'm finished. If the sniffle goes, it comes back because it's too cold. Haven't you noticed that when we're abroad, I don't do that? Didn't you notice? When we're abroad, I have no sniffle, no cold, I can't, no nothing. I can't, put, uh, I can't put my tongue in it, but no. Think of Morocco. Did I sniffle once? Think of Greece. I can't put my finger Thank on it. You. you can't put a finger on it because you don't remember seeing me. No. When I'm abroad, 100%, yeah, but when I don't you, when be you, doing when that. When you're ill in Greece? No. Oh, that's my Priscilla. Oh, thank you. They're the ones that decided to do oh, all exclusive. Let's do... No, yeah, but I did have a co-worker say that um, the, the food kind of messed them up. Yeah, that's them because the food they were eating. But I was not sick. I only had a heat stroke at one point because we was literally, we slapped oil all over our body. We had alcohol. We were just sit, literally sitting in the sun, sunbathing. Oh, this one's getting my massage. No, no, this is, I was sitting in the sun for like an hour or two, just sitting in the sun, no shade. We was literally tanning in the <laughs> sun. And we was drinking alcohol, no water. Just pure alcohol. And we didn't eat but we did go, like, I remember we did go find food. They were doing like these pizzas and stuff. So we brought them back to where mum was. Mum was still there. She turned over <laughs> on her back, <laughs> getting a sun time relax. <laughs> we bought ice cream as well. We was relaxed. It was ice it cream. Was the bit, yeah, I remember there, ice cream being there. There was ice cream. Do you know where our rooms were? Yeah. Behind. Do you know there was another bit? Oh, down there. Yeah. There was like that bit where you could get like snacks in. Bit pizzas and that, innit? Yeah. It? So there they had ice cream, but it was like a. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And then the bit that we was laying is the one that had the steps that had those big, big, comfortable, big Yeah, bags. yeah. And then we literally just lined them up. <laughs> and then just, just sat, <laughs> there. Like, sat there. Yeah, I was I was getting a massage then that day. Yeah, I think so. I was getting a massage, yeah. We was relaxed. And then after that, my head was like, yeah, swaying back and forth. The sun yeah, was hitting me. One by like, one, these little dropping like flies. <laughs> one started getting tired. Mum and Priscilla, they, they were basically ill. Last That's because day. I can honestly say, Michael, they were actually, think about it, they were mixing their food. I told them, don't be mixing your food, don't be mixing alcohol like that. They were eating anything and everything. That's why they got, even though you said it, your, um, your co-worker, yeah. they said that the food wasn't the best. Yeah. But honestly, yeah, the food might not have been the best. But at the same time, look how many, you're, mis- you're mixing fish, meat, to salad, beef, pork. I don't know, fry, uh, just different, yeah, yeah. everything. Everything. I get that you want to try the food, but for me, it's like, I want to, I eat my food and let's get back out there. Literally. Again. And obviously then mix the food. I don't know what happened. Just one by one, just started dropping like flies. It was them two, definitely not me. Because m- m- me and mum Crystal went into town. Yeah, I then, was, that was the day I had the heat stroke. Okay, that's yeah, the day that I had the Yeah. And then the I was, look, was looking at mum like, why is she so moody and that in it? Like, trying to enjoy herself. And she's like, nah, she couldn't go any film. She felt ill in it. So I was like, okay, cool. Send the, put in a cab we sent her back to the hotel and then and then I didn't clock on to Priscilla when I was doing some clothes shopping in it. I was trying to buy some clothes and then she sat down usually because you know Priscilla when you like go explore she wouldn't go everywhere yeah, she wouldn't go everywhere and everywhere. clothes shopping yeah. oh. in a different country imagine clothes like she's obsessed with clothes so in another country she her eyes are open eyes are open everywhere and then she just sat down thinking oh okay this was new in it so I was like okay cool she must be tired. Yeah. I I still I still went out to do my business. I yeah. think I think I was looking for um uh, a bait bag, not a bait bag, a bait hoodie. One of the hoodie, and obviously they only had a bag, but yeah. didn't bring but a bag back home because the luggage um prices in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then go back to the hotel. Chris is like, nah, I'm ill as well. She gets down. It's something cool. I saw Patricia. Let's let's try like socialize with other people whilst we're hearing it. We did, we did a bit of socialise because we met those other girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We met quite a few people. We met quite a few people. But you d- especially. Yeah. Because he was at the bar. He, he was best mates with the uh, the bartender. Yeah, the bartender. Shout out Martha. Gone but not forgotten. She's not dead, but obviously different countries. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the, the guy from Liverpool. I think people from Liverpool, Wolverhampton. Birmingham. Yeah, you'd be surprised a lot of uh, British people yeah, over there. I was meeting hella people like of different ages as well. Like I met this yeah. elderly couple. Uh, that's what like Cyprus. That's why you need to go to Cyprus. That the hotel that I go to in, in Cyprus. I just see bare people there, isn't it? Like from oh, from England, yeah. That hotel when you go, Michael, you'll be like, "Thank you for taking me there." <laughs> Trust me. But you will see so many people, meet so many people, and I will never forget karaoke night. One of the best. There was there was no karaoke night, but because me and Fusa kept requesting it. 
Oh, the they made yeah. it. They yeah, made, made it a karaoke, karaoke night, and we just basically made the hotel lit. We enjoyed bingo was lit. We never played bingo, but we was banging out bingo like there was no tomorrow. See, we, we didn't. Ha- I didn't have that, but when you lot were gone, and um, remember we was playing um Ludo and, and Blackjack in that yeah. yeah inside the I was inside the bar in it yeah, and then how I remember it was because um. You know that you know the uh, that music video um by One Direction, no One Direction, The Wanted, the song We Earned the Night, and everyone's in like in the in the pub having a good time, laughing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. that's how it was for like us were there. Like I was just meeting hella new people, people from Greece. Um, yeah. like they'll play like like Greek songs and we'd be clapping along. So yeah, just I uh, I think I even got I got a picture, but the quality was so bad with the person's phone. Like, <laughs> Samsung, so probably. bad, but yeah, I don't even think it was a Samsung. Shout out to Samsung though. But the the quality was bad because it's, it's like. The idea and the group picture of us all together was like, that's 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 memories. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. yeah, I think I've got. I don't, I don't know if I still got some photos on my phone. Like the one thing I love the most about going to Cyprus or any other country actually, is the group photos, meeting new people. Yeah, and like you'll be surprised with how many people you can meet ab- abroad. Like this is when we was in when I was in Italy. Okay, we, and we went on a tipsy tour, and all of us were just out visiting just like visiting, different, pla- different places. I can find mine. I've got it from like. Oh, I ain't oh, got I ain't signal. Got, I ain't got the thing in it. I ain't got signal. Oh yeah, here, here, here. This is from Cyprus. This is a couple of people. Ah. So, but this, their phone quality is bad as well. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I just you get a picture, get a nice group photo, and you know, the quality is just not there, but man. But I think it's because everyone's drinking. Everyone's drinking, and so they just don't care. It's one of the best. A, I even saw um, ah, oh, like um, there's a there's a family there, mm. and. The m- came like mum, dad, and kids in there, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the kids went to bed in it. So the mum, yeah. dad went out to go have. When I say the mum, oh my days, this woman was licked off her head. By the time they get back to their bedrooms, gone. All I know is their children will be like, what, what happened to mummy? Your mummy was nah, your mom drinking, was drinking, and drinking enjoying her life. Off. She, was, she was enjoying life. Literally. All that stuff she's been giving her back, back in England. And yeah. she distressed herself because a lot of times, like, that's why people say, oh, why'd you go on holiday? What I say to everyone, especially those in ends, you need to go on holiday to see the world. In it, you need to. And I'm not talking about going Ibiza or going Malago to party. I'm talking about going to a nice hotel, meet different people, older, younger. You don't want the same age group. One hundred percent, you don't want the same age group on when you're on holiday. You want different age groups because you could talk to so many different. People. Yeah, trust me. Like it's one of the best. You will meet. Okay, you definitely meet a lot of people from the UK. Yeah. But you also meet people from America. Yep. From the Caribbean, from yep. Africa. Yep. From different parts of Europe, from different parts of Asia. You'll be surprised. Yep. Like, the world is an open place and it will you expand your horizon. I met literally. someone from I met someone from Canada that was there. And still talking about how living in the UK and living in Canada was, like, very different because they do mm. things differently there and it's obviously cold and, like, always, you know, Canada's Canada, in it, but... Honestly, if you do go like go on holiday, it, mingle with new people, different age groups because like it's like they get all, everyone gives you like an insight on on life and yep. how you should live it. You know, honestly, that 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 final night in Greece was. Well, I remember when I when I left the when we left the hotel. Yeah, I was so Angry. moody. <laughs> I was so moody. I didn't want to. When we got to the, listen, it got to the point where. <laughs> When we was on the plane, no one was talking to each other. No one was talking to each other. I remember uh, we was we sitting in the airport in, in Greece as well, yeah. My mom was trying to talk to me, you know, trying to see what's wrong. I'm like, I'm just brushing. I'm like, no, nah, this is dead. Like, going back to the I'm UK. going back to the UK, yeah. I'm thinking, because I'm, I'm thinking like, how could everyone lit come when we're leaving? Yeah, it's true. Imagine, yeah, the night before we left that we met a couple of people, a couple of girls. Yeah. They were saying, oh, well, we just got here. And was it a Thursday or Friday? It was, it was a, a Thursday. It was a anyway. Thursday, yeah. So then they're saying, "Oh, we're gonna go out Friday night. You wanna come out? You gonna come out with us?" I was like, "Oh, sorry, we're literally leaving Friday morning." She goes, "Oh, I can't believe it." And because we're lucky, we got there in the beginning of the season, so we had that time to relax. Relax. There yeah. were some people before us, and some people came just at the same time as us, and some people came just after us. But a lot of people were coming on like the Thursday, and then obviously when we're leaving, there was more people coming on the Friday. But we said we won't be there. But what I really wish we could have done just, like just 10 like days. A, another ten days, like that that Liverpool Would guy, beautiful, was there for three weeks. Yeah, a lot of people. Go he was there time. for three weeks, and he was just mingling with new people. He actually went out. He got on the cruise, 
went on a cruise that actually wasn't too far from us as well. Yeah, he was that's doing, why we're hoping to go next year. Yeah, because no, nah, see, like, some people would be like, Oh, that night in Istanbul, that night in Paris, that night in Germany. How about like that night in Greece? For me, it was that that night in Greece. Yeah, I was the people I was talking to is like social groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are there some social groups I can talk to because we have similar things, and then there's some people I just wouldn't talk to because it's like nothing in common. But I didn't care. I thought, nah. Yeah. That's what happens when you're on holiday. I'd just be like, do you drink? I'd be like, yeah, here. Yeah. And so I'll be and like, the thing is, obviously, when it comes to um, being in, the one thing I love about when you're in a hotel and it's all inclusive, especially because we we we're not bougie because we like five star five star hotels. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, we like five five star hotel all inclusive is the best. Best thing. The best thing. And I'm not going to lie, sometimes it is expensive, but sometimes you found good ones. Even four stars, you you can find good ones, but we prefer five star because... Guaranteed, yeah, comfortable. Let, listen, just treat yourself to something nice, Literally. isn't it? So why I not? I always say twice a year. If you can't do that, okay, once a year, but I realistically, twice a year, I know the economy is bad, but you've got places like Love Holidays on the beach. No, Love Holidays where you can pay, like, pay, in, like, pay like, every month. You can find a holiday, like, for instance, we're in November now. If you want to find a holi- holiday for 2024, find something in March or April, which is the beginning of the seasons. You can find something that's affordable. You book, you put your deposit down now. You just take your time to pay it off. And then eventually it's paid off, before, like, two weeks before you go. You, Especially all-inclusive. You don't have to worry about drinks, food. The only thing you need to worry about is when you go out, your excursions, and if you're going out doing the night thing, then that's you just know how much you're spending but at least when you know you've got a hotel you know you're there you have your transfers you don't have to worry if you don't want to do priority boarding and whatnot you know, at least you can fit everything in your, in your your hand luggage yeah so you're calm you don't have to worry too much as long as you're comfortable you know you're going on holiday you're going to relax mm. you're not in the uk i do you know what i love the uk and i hate it at the same time i love the uk it's my home i was born here like i grew up have, yeah, all members are here literally but, but then it's like sometimes, sometimes you just get like bad vibes here, literally man. Sometimes you have to, do you know like when you're with family and you need to to sometimes go on holiday to like like recover from your family? Yeah. That's what it's like with the UK. Sometimes you need to go outside, discover the world, come back. Yeah. And like, especially I always say holidays in January, February, just for the year. Because you need to relax before you, the whole year comes along and it's crazy. Yeah. And <laughs> we've, we've been talking about holiday. You know we forgot about JJK. JJK, yeah. Imagine we forgot about JJK. No, Jiu Jitsu Kaisen. This guy, two. yeah, I've been telling him, bloody hell, he, like, you missed how many episodes did you ca- had to cap on? Six episodes. So imagine I watched Thursday's episode. Six and a half, sorry. Six, six, six point seven. I had five minutes left on episodes. Yeah. Okay. So basically, yeah, right now, today's date is the 13th, Monday, the 13th of November. Now, 12, 11, 10, nine. The 9th of November, the episode that came out the 9th of November. When I watched that episode, you asked, I've been telling this guy, listen, I've, I kept pestering you for the past couple of weeks yeah, to, to, to watch catch it. up. This time I told him, listen, Michael, you need to watch it. You need to watch it. You need to watch it. F- so Friday night, Friday night goes by Saturday. Comic Con, because I do, like, I have my own anime inspired business where I do like cosmetics and stuff. And like, and I go to Comic Cons and sell over there. And he came Saturday afternoon to help out because he was supposed to, what was he supposed to do? I was going to have a match but that game got cancelled. And then basically I was telling him, listen, okay, you need to watch JJK. JJK, he said he's going to do it Saturday night, which was the 11th yeah. of November. Did you say you watched some of the episodes? I finished I finished my the episode I was, I've started from before. Mm. And then I went to go play a model for free straight after. You see? Come Sunday now. I was telling um Sunday. Yeah, Sunday I was telling him, yeah, watch JJK. Because we went to Comic-Con because we still had, um sun, which is yesterday. The 12th of November, I told him, you need to catch up. You need to catch up. But at one point, my battery charger at the event, like, it kaputs. So I told him to go to the car, use the bat- the to charge the battery with the car thing, innit? Yeah. So then he went, and while he was there, he was watching JJK. Now, Michael, what did I tell you to do? To watch JJK. To watch JJK. And upon watching it, yeah, I've been having some... De- uh, Earlier, I said that I'm gonna talk about uh, some some characters that might get a little bit of heat. So, with my friends, we talk about Gojo. And now, I I can't I don't want to spoil 
what I've seen in a manga, and I can't really go any further than that because she hasn't seen it either. Basically, I'm not reading a manga, but She's I not would like manga. to. She would like to. I would like to, but like I'm to. debating. But then, now I came back to watch the anime, and I'm watching it, and I'm thinking, cool, Gojo's a cool guy, but I told you. Yeah. Yes, Masiya. That guy. Bruh. It's the way he leapt out of the, 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 the main expansion that um, Megami was doing with a smile on his face, like, oh my God. That's the thing. The sun is shining. I've come out and it's calm. Like Everything is good. And in that episode, I, d- I don't know what kind of monster that guy is. This is the reason I have a poster of him on my wall. I think, yeah, because when, when I saw the poster, I first got a poster of, oh, okay. Cool. He looks cool. I didn't, I didn't know too tough about Toji. I thought he looked cool. And then... You know what it was? It was it was when he wrapped up Gojo. I I've I think don't think it's Gojo as a kid, teenager Gojo. Yeah, it's a teenager Gojo, but I can't take away the fact that this teenager Gojo was still at that point one of, if not the strongest character in the world. No, he wasn't the strongest at that time. It's Wait, only he, after he died where he became. But he was still up there. He was up there. He yeah. was still up there as one yeah, of the strongest. Yeah, ca- yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one there, yeah. I thought okay, cool. When Gojo came back, I thought everyone's gassing up like, oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, Gojo! Um, he came back. He's, he he took all that beat, and he still came back. And I was thinking, hang on a second, did you not just see what Toji's done to this man? Dismantled him. He dismantled him. His life. In <laughs> there, 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 there. And ta that last one. That last she, one on the neck. Done. And then, and then, and then, done. come towards the end of the flipping of the of the series. I figured, oh, okay, cool. Gojo's done the mission. He's rescued the girl, and all you hear is pow. Bullet to the brain. Dead. Who no. the hell's taking shots at this girl now? You turn the camera, who's there? Toji. It's Toji. And it wasn't Gojo, it was, um, uh, 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 was it Ghetto? Ghetto. Yeah, it was Ghetto. Yeah. I was going to say Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it was It was Ghetto. M- m- no. And that's not even the part. It's when he came out that, that you see that same that same small hole. Listen. Like I said, Megami's domain was for them to, to come get, out. To come out. This guy hopped it. He was like... This motherfucker said, yeah, I'm coming out. <laughs> smile on his face. And I... Sm- <laughs> you, know, you know what he said? I smell bitch. Because this guy, I'm going to make him my bitch. And the thing that smacks he then we discovered, yeah, why he wasn't paying attention to the other ones. Because basically, he was on instinct mode where he was just going after the strongest person that was there. Basically, the strongest person at that point was that crab thing, whatever. Yeah. He was the strongest person there at that moment because he was next in minute yeah i i don't like michael this it makes no sense this miss man this guy started sharpening his no, no, <laughs> no, it's, it's not even just that. that it's the way he snatched it off mackie and then dashed her <laughs> it's not even, <laughs> like, snatched it. he, he, not even that he he held on to it and thinking, uh, that's the one the number one is like ah, cool. give me the give me your give me your weapons give it to me and also Max is like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, what, what are you doing? It's like, no, nah, on the real, give me, give me your weapons. Give me your weapons. No? Cool. Bye. Go on. Go on. She flew. He had his weapon ready. Ready. It wasn't, it wasn't like as if he was posing like as if, yeah, um, Bruce Lee. No. I just felt like as if, okay, he took that weapon. I felt sorry for the crab. Because I thought to myself, this is actually Toji. The one that actually defeated teenager Goju. Yeah. So what's gonna happen? But I thought, okay, maybe like they will like get. It's oh, Michael! It's the fact I think he was playing with his food. Literally, I honestly think he was just playing with him. He just was walloping this guy left, right. I don't. You, you know that um, you know that saying, instrument of death. When you start banging it together, that uh, and then made the thing. That is what you call. That's definition of instrument of death. And it's the fact is he like. When the crab jumped into the air, and that old man, I'm not gonna lie, that old man is actually the old man, yeah. He was really good. He jumped on top of the crab, like, where are you going? No, 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 no. I'm you back over. Come back down again. You see Toji jump up, give him one douche. And it wasn't just one, multiple, multiple. Until there was one in their head, and you know that person was dead because the main ended, the hand fell down. Literally. The hand main, fell, when the hand hand turned down. I was like, yeah, he gone. The main came down and thinking, oh my God, praise the Lord for told you because we were actually struggling with this guy. But then none of me, none of me, none of me? Yeah, yeah. yeah, none of me had to be like, oh, okay, cool. 
So is, is, is this on our is side? on our side or uh, is he against us? And then and then we finally understood that yeah, he's not on our side. He's not on our side. <laughs> he just wants to fight the strongest person that's there. Went after Megami. He went after Megami because he's like the freshest fighter there. I'm not gonna lie, Megami. that fight was a father and son fight. No, no, you call that? Huh? Getting that's what we call getting son. That is getting son. Michael, that is how you son your own son. When I say, listen, when we look into the camera, Megami. It don't matter how old you are. If you try to attack your father, it won't work. Do you know why it won't work? Because your father just went... Dee, dee, dee. It was at the, like, at the one beginning. hand. He wasn't even looking. One hand. Was in, <laughs> he, had him, he had him running. No, no, no. He had him running from, from the second because yeah, yeah, he charged yeah, at him. He had him that's running. Thought, nah, that first attack when he dodged, he thought, nah, I can't fight this guy. Mm-mm. I Mm-mm. cannot fight this guy Mm-mm. head on. So this guy's trying to plan and plot here. He set all them dumb Grab rabbits. This. Okay, cool. He disrespected Meg, 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 Megami's now. got that brain in it. He's got that. Nah, he said, nah, your, your brain is not enough to help you get out of this fight. Literally. So went straight through and just started walloping this guy again. It's then when he, when, he, when, he, when he went into that building and then Megami's like, nah, you know what? Fuck this. Man rolled up the, <laughs> man really rolled up his, his hands going to his fight like this. And he's thinking, yeah, cool. Let's go. And he's like, just literally do 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 no, but I'm not gonna lie, the moves, the, the choreography, the choreography was, was ridiculous. Yeah, it really was. It was ridiculous. But like, I was actually surprised with how they were able to do that scene. Yeah. Because the fight scene itself, the fact that you can see Toji's not really, it's like he actually Toji then was playing with his food. That's playing with the food. He really was playing with his yeah. food, and Megami was his food, and he didn't care. He was taking his time. It got to a point where even though hand to hand combat. Megami Meg wasn't really getting it. It's the fact that at one point, I think he grabbed him and then used the rabbits. I can't remember if he used the rabbit to... The rabbit started... No, when he kicked him away, the rabbit came to try and do his little piece. Yeah. And I wanted to tell the rabbit, rabbit, run. What, what are you, what are you no, doing? Was... He grabbed it, dashed it. I th- did he catch... No. No, that was even the, the crab. He caught something from the crab in yeah, his mouth. Fish, fish. He had a fish and that fish was... <laughs> you've missed the scene. That fish was causing serious damage. Literally. It was literally like... Killing it, him. Killing, it was just hurting, it was hurting Nandami others. Nandami got hurt hard. Nandami was hurting Nandami. But when he came to told you, the man caught in his mouth and was like, "It was like food, food," <laughs> and he's going, "Ants, blood everywhere." <laughs> and then they got to a point with the rabbits as well. It's like, ah, oh, when Megami got away, the rabbits were coming after Toji, and then Toji just slammed the ground. The pieces came up. I've never seen so pieces came up, and he just started flicking the pieces onto these rabbits. These rabbits were exploding. I thought to myself, "What is going on in my screen?" I don't know, Michael. Toji. If he imagine if he was still alive, ay ay ay. If that's him in aye, death, aye, aye. like he's dead, and that's him when he's dead. So imagine if he was still alive and he's able to like harness, like hone in, like train, train, and do more. yeah, more. And then it makes you think, okay, that's Toji at that age. So imagine Maki, because Maki is basically a female version of Toji. Toji. Yeah, what like she has potential, serious potential. Yeah, it's ridiculous. She, she could close the gap to to a Toji, but Toji was just. Another level. Levels, plural, S, more than one. He was dashing cars, trucks. He's a definition of a warrior. That guy was a freak. Came through. He was like, no, no, not happening. He used the rabbit to smack the other rabbit. Smack the other rabbit. This guy's blipping one. He's not even, like, he's he's literally standing there. He's going block, 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 block. And then I, I think he went to go like um I saw Megami had to like a, that sweeping kick and then he got the stick stabbed his trousers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stabbed. I remember that. He stopped it. He stopped him from kicking him, and it was like he was still. It's the fact that he reminded me of Goku when he went Ultra Instinct, and then I think it might have been when Jiren was trying to attack him, mm. and um, Jiren or the tooth. I just it just reminds me of like that scene when he was when. Goku was walking and the two tried to attack him. Oh, just, just got him like that, swung around. Yeah, yeah. It just it just reminded me of that. It was like, regardless of what you're doing, you're not hitting Toji, and you ain't getting nowhere. Not getting nowhere. No matter how far you run, he's coming after you and he's gonna get you. And if it wasn't for the fact that, do you know what made him the reason why he was saved? Because he summoned a weapon, and that was, I think, a skill of the family. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is what made Toji remember. Okay, oh wait, hold on. So it's not Zenin. As soon as he said his name, Fushigu. And then was, um and then Toji was like, Oh, is that how it is? Oh, so you're not okay. Zenin, no? Cool. I'm glad. Before he even said glad, he stabbed himself stabbed in his himself, head. Yeah. I said, I'm glad. I'm like, you stabbed yourself in your head, you're just still speaking. Does that make sense? I didn't want him to die. I want to see him. I don't know how I want to see him again. I don't know how you can bring him back. Just bring him back. I if don't it don't make sense. Can. If it don't make sense, I don't care. Just bring him back. Because that guy 
he he topped my list. One of my favorites. Before it he was killed like, the grandma. She done that seance thing. So unless they have oh yeah, he, he packed her off. So Absolutely. unless there's someone that has a um a uh, same kind of curse technique that she has, it's yeah. kind of difficult. Nah, it's a guy, man. Nah, but who's the guy? Sukana. Sukana now. <laughs> it's when he said your your head's a bit too high now. Your head's a bit dropped. too high. <laughs> all three of them dropped. Oh no! When that happened, I replayed. You replayed it. Oh, how can I forget his name? Is it is it Chosso? The the Volca- Drogo, 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 Drago, Draco, Draco. What is his name? I can't even search. Drago, Draco, one of them. One of them, yeah, that volcano guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. his head was not down low enough, but he still got a slice. Yeah, he still got sliced. And Those two like, girls, RIP. I understand what you mean because ghetto summer is not your ghetto summer. It's that that freaky dude. Yeah, but. Yeah, but at the same time, like he tried to fight Sukarno, and then it's the fact that he tried to. And he's like, "Oh, so you think because you can use leverage of the fingers on me, you're gonna try to boss me around?" Nah, man, sliced off one head. It's the fact he's exploded one. She was screaming his name, screaming the name of the one that got exploded. Yeah, and then it was, and it was like, "Oh no, I won't forgive for this." Took out a phone, and you could see when. You know, like with the phone, you can yeah. see when you, the line, you know how he's talking about the line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the that line. The line going through, bang. And you know, yeah, you're done. Yeah, you're done. Completely done. Look at both of them. There's no head. None. It's just, there's literally just the body. And then I think it was Draco. We're going to call him Lava Head. Lava Head, because. I can't remember his name. I can't he, lie. I actually felt sorry for him. I felt sorry for him. <laughs> I actually, that. Sikana said, basically, you gave me 10 fingers. If you hit me once. I'll do everything you say. Yeah. And don't forget before that, I think it was, I think the guy that's impersonating Ghetto said to him, like, truthfully, you're only, I think you're as strong as eight or nine fingers. But right now, there's about 15 fingers in Yuji right now. Yeah. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. But he still fought hard. He, still f- he fought hard. He he went all out and I thought, they are impressive. That fa- it's the, the fact that Sukuro was gliding on the ground, like, like smiling. Nothing. Yeah. Casually. Casual, so casual. And this guy is literally wrecking the city. Like, Completely. You, can, you can see why it's called the Shibuya incident. Because, like, bro, this is a fucking massacre. You know, this is a serious massacre. Do you know what my favourite part of that episode, the favourite part of it was? Which one? When the meteor was coming. Oh. And then, oh. <laughs> basically. Oh, uh, no. There's this guy with Panda. So this guy, I think he's a swordsman, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It's the fact that there's a meteor coming and every no, it's not even before that he was saying, Yeah, guys, there's something and there was two basically Panda and the guy was facing off against these villains, innit? And then when Sukano and Lavahead was fighting, basically the guy turned around and said, Yeah, guys, yeah, I know we have problems, but we need to get out of here because there's bigger fish up there. Yeah. And we can't be here. Nah. We need to go. Then it came to a point, I think he's um, um the meteor was coming. So then there was two p- villains in front of him. He sliced them and said, we need to go. He told Panda, we need to go. Him and Panda, just as they turned, they were about to go, to kind of come, and it was, you remember, it was a ping. It was like, loud shoot. noise and everything. It was just a ping. So kind of comes, anybody that moves, I will kill you. I will tell you when you can move. Anyone that does not follow the rules, I hereby forbid. I forbid. I hereby forbid. This guy was like, I hereby, I'm, I'm you, like, he's the flipping queen of England, or king Thank of England. You. Like, whoa. Hereby forbid anyone from moving until I in a, I hereby forbid anyone in, in a hundred meters from moving. Hundred meter radius, until yeah. I say so. My guy was having a fight. His hands were like this. Everybody's Could watching, you, his, watching hands. his hands. Like <laughs> <laughs> they were still. No one was they moving. Watching his no hands. No one didn't yeah. even turn. No one moved. No one. No, literally, no one moved. No yet. one moved. As soon as it, guys, was gone. gone. As soon as you heard that, gone. It, like dust. Everybody no was, was gone. There. You know what's crazy about that scene? Yeah, I said this. I said this when I was at the Comic Con. In it, I haven't heard a villain stop someone. Obviously, not not to the extent of what eyes into to each go, but mm. stop a soundtrack like that. Yeah, it was because it's like because this it was it was crazy. Like what was going on, and then he just lands there and quiet. And everyone knew I'm not moving for shit. You are not moving because this no guy will, you can't do anything against him. If Michael, if that was you, yeah. And Sukarno said, I hit, like, he comes up and he needed to cough. You get what I'm trying to say? Man, that cough is staying in. Are you sure? That cough is staying in. It can, get, it? It can get itchy at my chest. I'll tear up. I am not <laughs> coughing. 
I am not coughing. You know when he what says if? when he says go, <coughs> gone. <laughs> That's me. I am not coughing. No chance. No oh chance. What can gosh. you do? What can you do? There's nothing. This guy slices people one hit, and you go. You don't even see it happening. You can't react. What can Bro. you do? It's the fact. As soon as he went, pap, pap, go everyone on. was gone. Go I didn't. I haven't laughed like that about something serious so long in an anime show before, like that. Do you know how many times I replayed? I hereby forbid. I yeah. I, I replayed. replayed that so many I'm times. seeing the sun come and flying towards <laughs> us. No like, one's moving. No one's moving. That's the thing. I'm, I'm thinking like, why are you guys not going? Like, listen, I know we're enemies for now, yeah, but let's fight. But let's not fight here because this go. this ain't our caliber. This ain't our caliber. We need to go fight somewhere else in the next continent. We're fighting in Asia. We need to go be fighting in Africa right now because this guy is about to blow us up because he, he wanted to do friendly fire. Not even friendly fire. He wanted to destroy him. Just he, destroy just wanted, him. he was getting angry this that he just, couldn't get the land hit. He just couldn't land the hit. So now fuck mm. this. Let me summon the, the, the sun. And rain the, and down. Rain down. <laughs> and my man's doing collateral damage. He didn't care. And what a collateral damage. Nah. And the collateral damage is forbidden to me. You're telling me I can't move. <laughs> so that I have an itchy chesty cough. I can't cough. I'm telling you, by fire, by fo- my fire and force will be stronger than the fire oh. force in the sky. By fire, by force, I will not cough. In fact, the resistance of me not coughing will be so strong, I won't even need to cough anymore. It's true. It's true. I'll be it's gone. True. I've Not never a seen, chance. I've this never guy, seen something like that happen. This guy, I've ne- bro. That's like flipping, like a parent or teacher be like, yeah, the next person to move, you're gonna know what's coming next. And the fact is, you know what's coming next. You know what's coming next, and trust me, you will not see it coming. Okay, if you had to choose, who would you say would you prefer to fight, Toji or Sukuna? Told you. Really? Yeah. Fifteen fingers, Sukuna. I'm not fighting fifteen fingers, Sukuna. <laughs> What about ten fingers, Sukuna? No, because ah, oh, I feel sorry for you, Judo. Man's unconscious. Man, if he knew what's Turns going out on, your brother, you was fighting your brother, but man's unconscious. He's getting fed fingers. They're forcing that shit down your throat, like whoa. Well. I don't know how it's going down. Pause, but I don't know how it's yeah. going down. Pause, but yeah, I f- actually feel sorry for him. I don't know if if he's gonna be able to wake up though. That's that's eleven fingers. That he got one from the girl, the two the two girls and ten from ten from thing, yeah. Jacko. I don't know. I think Jacko ain't that from Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Super even. Yeah. But yeah. I actually feel sorry for him. I don't know how what they're gonna do. Get um Gojo's still bloody sealed. So I don't know what's going on. Especially inside that scene. I don't know what's going inside that sealed. They should do an episode where we can see what's going on inside. That yeah. That slicey slicey guy, slice Megami. After he got tumped in by Naname so oh, hard, you what? still want to go on a rampage and then have the audacity to Just ask him... Well, help. To <laughs> <laughs> it made no sense. Take your beating. You've been going around killing everyone and you want to ask Megami, ask the, the third person You're that trying to kill me. Help. Now ask for my help. And Megami's mouth was open, uh, laid back. He's done for. He needs to rest because... Because what Toji was doing to that boy? He got knocked out. That's when, you know, when he done something wrong... At home. <laughs> <laughs> See, how are you getting beat? No, like... You know one of them was where you tried to run away from home? You didn't make it to the you door. didn't make it to the door in time and you're just getting your ass whooped. Like, I ain't trying to... You're, you're trying to dodge. You can't really dodge because this uh. guy just, just keeps coming. Try to go on defensive. He's not even trying. He's like, you're perfect. Literally. Like, who blocks like just bang, 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 duck. Bang, 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 bang. Scissor kick, nope. Stab your trousers. You're going nowhere. Say, yeah. Boots you to the flipping thing. And you want to use these these rabbits? Nope. Stop the ground. Use the frog to get him out of the 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 tra- 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 what's the word? Tra- tra- trajectory. Yeah. Yeah. Because Soji was coming after him. The frog sucked him in out the way, and it's like, okay, I don't know how many more moves you you're running, and like you know the phrase, you can run but you can't hide. Yeah. Or you can't run from me forever. You can't run. You cannot. It's not happening. It's not happening. The only thing to save you was literally your name. It's the fact that you're his son it and is. he clocked. Only because you drew that weapon out. If you didn't draw that weapon out, you you would be dead. You would 100%. 100% he would be dead be if dead, you didn't yeah. draw that weapon out. Because that was a sign of the fact that he's got the family trait. Oh, my God. Told you. Goodness gracious me, man. It's ridiculous. I prefer, I prefer a motor for Gojo. It's because of that fight. It's because of those episodes. That, that fight. It made you. Gojo. Sorry, man. I In can't. the future, you'll change your mind again. 
we'll have you to just see. keep changing your mind. Every time you watch something, you just end up changing. I would your have mind. to see. I would have to. I would have to see. From what I've seen, mm. told you, still tops it for me. That guy, even Sukuna as well. That yeah, he. I'm not gonna lie. That I've got posts with him as well. <laughs> now it's like Gojo, Toji, and Sukuna are actually my favorite characters. Eh? Characters, characters, you know, characters of um JJK. None of me as well. Like I'll never forget. He had hands. He was like, yeah, I'm not using my weapons. I'm using my hands to thump you in. And he used his hands yeah. to thump my guy. I feel in. like my man even went gym as well. Like this guy. Yeah. yeah. Like when he stepped in, you thought, hmm. In fact, you know so those characters is, that walk don't run? Characters yeah. that walk scare me. This guy, you know what it is? Is this, there was something, you know what it is here? You know when characters be like, oh, mm. they'll be like, oh, I don't know what it is, but he's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how good it's all like. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, he just felt different. It's like I, I couldn't, I couldn't sense the the the, the in a suit. Yeah, that, the, the glasses, Everything. the slicked hair, mm. the sleeves rolled up. He looked like a gangster. And the way he just grabbed my man's head, like yeah, where are your associates? And he just gave him the nastiest beating. Beating. And he just, he just. It's not even the. He just gave the nastiest punches. One punch. Okay, I'm coming to you again. And it's like the punches you after the the first punch, I would have told him everything. Everything you want to know, I would have told I you. I think the way after there. I think the way he just grabs your head, like I think like, yeah, cool, he's there, he's there, that's there. Uh, my man's downstairs. <laughs> Literally. Um I'm not confess I'm, your sins. I'm not even the leader, but you know what? Literally. You know, I'm, 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 I might even be a little slide uh like dumb but like, yeah, you know what, you're quite strong. Let me let me roll with you, man, for a bit then. Literally. You and know. then, well, that's what he tried to do at the end, anyways, with Megami. But it's like, listen, you just sliced him. You want him to come save you? It's not yeah. happening. Because if I was Megami, I'm like, I'm gonna continue to faint sleep. I'm here. You scream my name, but me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still for sleeping. Help. Once you get past off, like, yep, time to get to work now. <laughs> Bye, see you later. I'm good. I'm good. But guys, listen, yeah, it's literally coming to the end. Yeah. And any final thoughts? Yeah, I was gonna ask you a question. Um, Jack, Jack Daimo, how do you feel about that? You know what? You're gonna have to ask me in the next episode. Next episode, yeah, because you mentioned Dragon Ball. I was like, mm, let me let me get your opinion. That will definitely next episode. Yeah, 100%. I'm just waiting for him to bring. <sighs> That's the thing because I've um I saw I saw on TikTok, but uh, I don't know how I don't know how well the person's claimed that this person was the the most reliable source on the Dragon Ball community, mm. and he's saying that um the Dragon Ball Super Two is going to come back in 2019, but. It's 2023. 2023. That's that's the thing. The reason why it didn't come back is because uh, Shueisha, the the manga company, wanted more sales on the manga. So they're basically like forget the sales, fam. Bring the anime in. Yeah, they're just they're just milking. Do you know how much like how much material there is? How many episodes yes, you can make? So many. Moral arc, gran- granola arc. Oh my days. I I need that. I, I need that animated. I want to see the Grand Peace fight. I oh, do you know what? We have to leave it for the next episode, yeah. guys. We actually, actually have to do. And so, guys, I hope you've in, literally enjoyed this podcast. Yeah. And for those who watch of you, eh? Jesus for God. those watching on YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed watching us as well. Please don't forget to leave your comments down below. If you've got any animes, eh? I can't even speak now. Animes. If you've got any animes you want, like you want to recommend or anything, you any comments you have towards or any of your opinions, please free feel free. Feel free to put it down in the comments below. And for those that's listening on a podcast, you could head over to the YouTube channel, and leave your comments down below. And I think in the future we'll be starting an Instagram page, and then after that you can get info from ugh. info on the Instagram page, basically. Yeah. As you can see, me and words, sometimes it just doesn't work. So I just look to Michael and he knows what I'm saying. So he will translate for you guys because that's the best way. And literally, I've been Patricia. I've been your host, Michael. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.